Remember heaven and hell had a lot of unwritten rules in those days, and matchmaking for the living was still a bit of a wild west. <laughs> but I guess that's where death comes into the story. She'd been an overlord of the afterlife for centuries, and Cupid was beginning to push his luck. Yeehaw! All right, yeah, let's go. <laughs> that was me. It was my first day on the job, and I was ready for just about anything, except maybe that. Now, at heart, Cupid was a lover, not a fighter, but I could tell he was playing with fate that day. <laughs> Little did I know what fate had in store for me. Up there, death was judge, jury, and executioner to all lovers, living or otherwise. Cupid was populating the human gene pool, while I was tasked with all things disappointing. My demon instincts faced constant temptation, but I wanted so much more than that. She hit it well, but Death was facing her own demons that day. I needed to figure out how to impress her. <laughs> Somehow, we clicked. <laughs> but it's not every day I put the moves on an overlord of the afterlife. There was little chance this was going to be pretty. And my instincts were on fire. But not in a good way. <laughs> that wasn't my best move.
my story didn't turn out quite the way I'd imagined. I found the love of my afterlife. Now, how does a devil go about becoming a Cupid? Oh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 